Dre Baldwin with DreAllDay.com. Everyone, today's topic is how to keep your mind working for you. Because we know, or maybe you don't know, that if you don't keep your mind working for you, if you don't keep your mind occupied and give it something to do, then it will drift off and go somewhere that you don't want it to go. And it's going to bring back some things that you wouldn't want around you if you had a chance to decide. It's kind of as they say, idle hands and idle minds are the devil's workshop. I've heard you know, people say that, at least as a back in the day saying, but when your mind is idle and you don't have anything to put your mind to, you're not giving your mind a job, even when you're sleeping, you're not giving it a job. And that's something I cover in a mental workbook, by the way, at dreallday.com slash workbook. Your mind is just going to drift off and whatever is going on around it, whatever everybody else is talking about or thinking about or doing, those influences will start to influence you. You probably don't want that. It'd be better if you could choose for yourself what your mind is on rather than someone else choosing it for you, right? I think that just makes sense. So today I'm going to tell you what you need to do to keep your mind working for you so it doesn't drift off and start doing things that you don't want it to do. Number one, keep focus on the things that you want in life. And that sounds so super simple. Keeping focus on the things that you want, not on the things that you don't want. But how many times, how much time do any of us spend thinking about things that we don't want? Thinking about things we're afraid of, that we're stressed out about, feeling anxiety about something that could happen in the future, mad or sad or disappointed about something that already happened in the past, worried about something that might happen and we don't even know if it's going to happen and we can't even control it. Those are the exact violations of this first point. Keeping your mind focused on the things you want means knowing what you want, knowing what your outcomes are, and only thinking about those things. If you happen to catch yourself just for a second thinking about something that you don't want, you immediately flip it and think about something that you do want. If you're able to do that. I do this thing called the 48-hour experiment, which is a test that I think most people fail the first time they do it. Actually, I know most people fail the first time they do it. I failed the first time I did it. It's to only think about the things that you want, keeping your mind on positive outcomes for 48 hours straight. If you do this, I guarantee it will change your life. And I guarantee the first time you try it, you will not succeed at doing it. Doesn't mean you should quit. It means you need to try it again and again until you get it right. Focusing on the things you want will keep your mind working for you as an employee that's doing their job instead of a rogue employee who's going off and destroying your company because it decided it doesn't want to listen to you anymore. So you got to train it to do what you want it to do. Number two. Do not allow idleness like weeds, kind of like what I just said. If you keep your mind focused on the things you want, there's no idle time for your mind. Your mind can't grow those mental weeds. You know what I mean? When I say mental weeds, it's kind of like if you have a garden. If you don't go out in that garden every few days or every week or whatever, then pull those weeds out and make sure nothing's messing with your plants, with your, your crops or whatever it is. If you don't do that, then your crops are going to get destroyed. You're not going to get a harvest. You're not going to get any nice flowers. You won't have a nice garden. So you got to keep tending to that garden over and over and over again and don't allow the weeds to spring up. Weeds only spring up when nobody's tending to the garden. Nobody's working on it. Nobody's paying attention to it. Nobody's making sure they take care of it. You do the same thing with your mind. Take care of it. Know what's going on and be on the watch for anything that's not supposed to be there and get rid of it immediately when you see there's something there that's not supposed to be there. Number three. You got to make sure you use goals the same way that a boat uses an anchor to stay close to the harbor. Right. If any of you ever been on a in any kind of boat, in a small, tiny boat or a big cruise ship, they all have anchors. And what is the anchor? What does the anchor do? The anchor is big, heavy metal weight that connects the boat, the vessel to the harbor so that it doesn't just float off. Right. Because if you don't have an anchor connected to a boat, the waves are just going to pull the boat away. It's going to drift out to sea. Who knows what's going to happen to that boat? You're probably going to lose your boat if you do that or if you allow that to happen. So what you need to do is have goals that are the anchors for you. You're the boat, you're the cruise ship. You have goals that are your anchors that keep you connected to what you want to be connected to, whether that's you want to play in the NFL, you want to become a college professor, you want to get a college degree, you want to start a family. Whatever your harbor is, wherever it is you want to be, your goals are the anchors that keep you connected to it because you're always looking at it, you're always thinking about it, it's always on your mind. Like I told you in point number one, you got that 48 hour experiment. That's all you're focused on. When you're focused on the harbor, you probably stay close to the harbor. You lose sight of the harbor, you stop paying attention to it, you don't have that goal keeping you close to it like an anchor, you're gonna drift off the sea and that'll probably be the end of your boat and maybe the end of you and the end of your chances for success. So these are the things that you need to do. Follow these three points to make sure you keep your mind working for you, focus where you want it to be focused and it'll create the outcomes that you want to create because you know if you ever turn a light on in a room as soon as you turn that light off how quickly does it get dark immediately right the only thing faster than the speed of light 
is the speed of darts. So make sure you keep your mind focused with the lights on where you want it to be. Work on your game. DreAllDay.com.